What's up, guys? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. This is Mars Double IPA. Uh, here are the notes from Bell's on the beer. Released initially in August 2014 as the first beer in the Bell's Planet series, Mars the Bringer of War is a double IPA with a complex hop character and a malty backbone. Hopped at a ratio of about 3.4 pounds of hops per barrel, the recipe for Mars was developed from a trial batch called Larry's Latest Double IPA, brewed in our original brewery located adjacent to the Eccentric Cafe in downtown Kalamazoo. 10.1% ABV. Now in that description you heard them uh, mention Bell's Planet series of beers and uh, Mars the Bringer of War. Those are references to orchestral composer Gustav Holst's uh, well-known orchestral suite uh, called The Planets. That was written in 1914. Uh, it was a seven movement piece um, of all the uh, seven of the eight planets that were known at the time. He excluded Earth and uh, Pluto wasn't known as a planet until 16 years after this piece in 1930. So he did a, a seven, seven movement orchestral piece that uh, featured all seven of the plant, three, the other planets in our solar system. Uh, and each had a different kind of style and so forth. And um, in 2014, and I believe into 2015, uh, Bell's made a beer for each one of these uh, movements in the planets. So uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a pour now. And check it out. Let me turn on my light as well. But uh, it's a nice kind of a a ruddy orange into maybe like a bronze or a copper kind of color. I'll hold up to light. It's more of a, a pure orange, I would say. And a couple of fingers of head there on the uh, on top of that beer. Uh, pretty hazy. Uh, I can kind of see shadows of my fingers on the other side of the glass here, but uh, I really can't make out any detail. Uh, so plenty of, uh, plenty of haze. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. Mm. Lots of, uh, kind of tropical fruit notes I'm getting. I would say, uh, definitely like a, a pineapple... Maybe a passion fruit, I believe, as well. Hmm. A fair amount of hops as well, uh, especially for a, a double IPA, I find they tend to be more on the sweeter side and less on the hoppy side. At least that's how I interpret them. And um, this certainly is, is uh, fairly sweet, but I am getting a, a mild amount of hop bitterness to it. I find the multi to be pushing through a little bit as well, so it's fairly well balanced overall. Um, again, I think for a, for a double IPA, uh, I'm really impressed by that balance. I also want to mention very quickly that uh, this is actually the second release of Mars, as they mentioned. Uh, it was initially released in August of 2014 as part of that Planet series. Um, and so it was, this is the... I believe the first re-release out of that series, this came out in, I believe, uh, April. And so um, I haven't heard anything about any of the others being released. I didn't see anything on the Bell's website about plans for releasing the others, at least not in 2017. But perhaps in the future, uh, especially if this does well, they may release others. The hot bitterness really ramps up as a... It kind of in a drinking experience and into a an aftertaste kind of a thing. Uh, it really does keep getting stronger and stronger as I'm drinking this beer. But really, those tropical fruit notes are are the biggest thing. Uh, certainly, mango and uh, passion fruit, as I said. Uh, some pineapple as well. Just a a, a hint of citrus. Uh, yeah, those tropical fruits are really the, the biggest thing overall, flavor-wise. And they're big and bold as well. 
kind of a medium to a light body as well, but um, certainly an enjoyable beer. Needless to say, another hit by uh, Bell's Brewery. I'm really excellent. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the uh, of the piece, and I missed this series of beers the first time around, so I was very excited to see uh, Mars come back on the market, and hopefully the others do as well. So that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find those links and usernames in the description below. And if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.